Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here. Today we are going to be looking at Toon Squid vs Procreate in depth. Before I get into it, I'd like to explain that I will be comparing the two apps based on a few different topics. The categories we'll be checking out are the timeline, the drawing tools, the drawing experience, the workflow speed, the ease of use, the compositing, and the importing and exporting. If you haven't seen it already, I have a tutorial that covers all the information you need on Procreate Dreams and tips I've learned from working in it. Feel free to check it out as I will be uploading more content on Procreate Dreams as the app continues to progress. When it comes to the rendering and playback, I would give Procreate Dreams the upper hand. Procreate Dreams renders its frames faster than most animation apps I've seen. It also jumps into the full screen mode without any interruption and can do real time while you're playing it back. In editing, I would give Toon Squid the upper hand as Procreate Dreams has a lot of issues when it comes to editing frames and move them across a track. When you group them, sometimes when you ungroup, it creates a new track. And after you ungroup, you can't move those frames back because you can't move frames back down to a track without grouping them. On top of this, Procreate's frame editing tools are much more hidden. A lot of people aren't aware of the push-pull function, which you use to extend frames. I also go over that function in my tutorial. When it comes to layer management, Toon Squid definitely has the upper hand. Toon Squid allows you to create vector and pixel layers. You can even merge them and create pixel layers. Procreate Dreams, on the other hand, only allows you to create raster layers, though the quality generally is pretty good. Sometimes when you draw from a zoomed out position though, your, the quality of your lines can take a hit. Both of the apps perform well when it comes to group management, but Procreate Dreams can be kind of confusing with its timeline. Now we'll move on to the category of drawing tools. For drawing tools, Procreate Dreams is very limited. Squid has a brush, eraser, brush management, transformation tools, blending tools, text tools, eyedropper, shape tool, fill tool, and a selection tool. Procreate Dreams, on the other hand, only has a brush, eraser, eyedropper, fill, text, blend, and transform tool. However, it does not contain a lasso, shape tool, it did not bring over quick shape from Procreate, and you can only manage your brushes in Procreate. The one drawing advantage that Procreate Dreams does have over Toon Squid is that you can technically use all of the features in Procreate in tandem with Procreate Dreams, as you can import anything easily from Procreate. You can even create animations directly in Procreate and then import them to Procreate Dreams. For the category of drawing experience, Toon Squid also wins. When it comes to drawing real estate, you get much more space in Toon Squid than you do in Procreate Dreams. In Procreate Dreams, they do have the flip up mode when you can see your full screen, but even that has some space taken away from the top of the screen. And also you're limited in how you can control your frames. Toon Squid takes the approach of letting you dra drag the height of your timeline, and then you can have as much or as little space as you want. Toon Squid also wins when it comes to drawing layers as you can reorganize your layers and it has vector and pixel layers. In Procreate Dreams, you currently cannot move your drawing layers on individual frames up and down. Onion skinning in Toon Squid also wins as you can control the opacity of your onion skins. You can use the out of pegs feature to, to edit onion skin frames directly on the canvas. And you can also freely control the color of your onion skin. None of these options are available in Dreams. Toon Squid also has palm resistance and stroke stabilization, which Procreate Dreams doesn't have. You can stabilize your strokes in Procreate Dreams, but you have to first put up your streamline in Procreate itself. For the category of workflow speed, and this will be based off the view of a character animator, I would also give Toon Squid the upper hand. I believe storyboarding in both apps are pretty good. And honestly, I actually prefer it in Procreate Dreams, but Toon Squid is a much more fleshed out animation program. With Toon Squid, there are multiple ways to, to draw your frames and to, and to time them. 
which gives it the upper hand. Line art in Toon Squid can also be better as you have stabilization tools. While coloring speed is better in Toon Squid, I would give it the upper hand to I would give the upper hand to Procreate as Procreate has a better brush management system. That being said, Toon Squid allows you many options to color. In Toon Squid, you can set reference layers for color. You can fill and you can use fill brushes as well as the lasso tool. And if you're experienced enough, even the shape tool. Procreate Dreams, on the other hand, currently has a glitchy filling tool that can leave a lot of lines. And honestly, I would say both apps specifically have very bad paint bucket tools as they fail to recognize and close your gaps easily. When it comes to keyframing, I would give, I would say both apps give the option to make very simple keyframing. Tone Squid has more keyframing options, but still doesn't allow you the freedom of control when you keyframing your animations. Procreate Dreams has much less options, but it does also have the perform tool, which gives it a big which gives it a big help if you can learn to use it correctly. When it comes to keyframing groups, Procreate Dreams wins as it has much more filter options. Procreate Dreams as it has all, all of its filter options and you can also scale and rotate content while they're grouped, as opposed to Toon Squid, which only allows you to control the opacity of layers that are grouped. For gestures, I would say Procreate Dreams also wins. Procreate Dreams has created a lot of innovative gestures for a animation app on the iPad. Toon Squid, on the other hand, has just copied basic gestures from Procreate's original art program and hasn't really implemented many of its own. One plus I'll give Toon Squid is the fact that it has the gesture of scrubbing, when you scrub up with three fingers, you can scrub through your frames to easily find a position in your animation. For keyboard shortcuts, Toon Squid wins without any competition as Procreate Dreams currently has no keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. For the ease of use category, I would have to give Procreate Dreams a win actually. While the user interface of Toon Squid is much easier for experienced animators and beginners to understand, the file management is much worse as you have to consistently back up your creations. The performance of Toon Squid can also vary greatly. I, I, would, I would rate Toon Squid's performance more harshly considering it's been on the App Store longer, so they've had more time to develop, to develop solutions against bugs. The performance on the performance on Procreate Dreams has always been very fast whenever it's not crashing. I've not had a single slowdown in Procreate Dreams when I was using the app actively, whereas Toon Squid often can slow down when the files become really big and the playback also can become slow. Both apps crash a ton. If I had a crash counter for this, maybe I would say Procreate Dreams may have crashed about 20 times while I was making the animation that you're watching on the screen and Toon Squid may have crashed about 10 to 15 times. Once again, because Toon Squid has been on the App Store longer, I'm a little bit more judgmental towards Toon Squid. Another plus for the performance of Procreate Dreams is the fact that you can set an unlimited undo history. So even when your app does crash, you can often recover work you are already doing. That being said, I also ran into bugs based off of this. I noticed when my undo history was set to lower numbers, around 50 or 25, Procreate Dreams would undo multiple steps of my animation at once, basically trying to get to the original state of the document with nothing inside of it. This led to me lo losing half of, a, half of a scene of an animation by undoing by accident when I came back into Procreate Dreams. Then I had to reanimate my scenes. This is a huge issue, so if you are using Procreate Dreams, I highly recommend that you keep your undo history high even though it will make your file sizes larger. Toon Squid also faces many bugs. It often fails to do good imports of my animation or music, which we'll get into later. When it comes to documentation, Toon Squid, Toon Squid is much better as it has documentation directly in the app. It tells you exactly what things do and it also has its keyboard shortcuts listed directly in the application. 
Procreate Dreams isn't documented poorly, but you have to go to its website to read the handbook and understand things. And even when you do read the handbook, you have to get creative to solve a lot of issues presented by the application. And lastly, copying and pasting across documents work for me in both applications without any hiccups. When it comes to the compositing category, Procreate, Procreate Dreams wins without any competition. Toonsquid doesn't have any compositing options and Procreate Dreams has amazing compositing options. Despite all its negatives, the, the ability to composite directly in Procreate Dreams is amazing. You can create, you can do all the post-production of your animation without taking it out of this application. With some development, I really look forward to the compositing that's presented in Procreate Dreams. And for the last category, importing and exporting. This one is kind of a mixed bag, as ToonSquid has much more options for importing and exporting, but a lot of them can work in a very bad fashion. ToonSquid has never gave me issues when it came to exporting, but when it came to importing my videos, it would often make my files lag. It would import them incorrectly. It would import my animations at different frames per second. And sometimes my imported objects would either be invisible or they would just disappear from the document when I came back into them, making me re-import them. This occurred with animation, video, and audio, as well as images. Procreate Dreams didn't give me any of these issues with importing aside from crashes while trying to import audio while I was screen recording on my iPad. When it comes to exporting, ToonSquid wins by a landslide. ToonSquid has tons of exporting options, whereas Procreate Dreams is still working on GIF exports, exports with transparency, and tons of other options. That being said, Procreate Dreams exporting generally tended to be much quicker in my opinion. I also have to mention that Procreate Dreams often fails to import your PNG sequences in the proper order, which is a big issue as it's nearly impossible to reorganize your frames and procreate dreams without wasting a generous amount of time. Now for the last part, we won't be comparing this, but the cost of Toon Squid is 10 US dollars and procreate dreams is 20 US dollars. Toon Squid tends to get updates every few months with no specified dates. Procreate dreams also has no specified dates as to when they'll be getting updates. Procreate dreams on the other hand has a whole team behind it and may receive faster support when updates come, but we'll need to see. Between the two apps, I personally prefer to use Procreate Dreams. Though Toon Squid is a fully developed animation app, it has a lot of performance issues that often hamper my work. That being said, Toon Squid can be very fast when you're using a keyboard or just using the or just using the controls on the screen. The performance in Procreate Dreams is much better and its playback is amazing. I feel more comfortable drawing in Procreate Dreams after importing a brush with Streamline and using a glove to ignore its lack of palm rejection. The file management of Procreate Dreams is also better, considering it can upload all my animations to the cloud so they won't have to be stored directly on my iPad and take up my space. Procreate Dreams also gives me the option to do more real-time edits on my animation when it comes to color and filtering. That being said, Procreate Dreams is definitely tough to work in in its current state. They launch without a lot of basic features that most animation apps tend to have. Without a lasso tool, you have to be very careful of the scale you draw in, and without the ability to edit frames, you have to do most things perfectly. You have to do most things perfectly as you're animating without being able to edit it after. Currently, Dreams function similar to traditional animations, so I think that's the best way to think of using the application. You can also just import your animations from Procreate and work on them in Procreate Dreams for the time being. Toon Squid, on the other hand, would be one of my favorite animation apps of all time if not for its poor performance. Toon Squid can work pretty well with very short animation, but just creating a five second animation with color gave me a lot of grief. Its ability to use vector layers and also merge your animation layers is great. ToonSquid also has a lot of great options for creating animation in a fast manner. If I had to recommend something to beginner animators, I would definitely recommend ToonSquid instead of Procreate Dreams. 
just be careful not to make too long of animation and to split up the scenes rather than creating them all in one document. For those of you who still want to work in Procreate Dreams, I think there's a lot to look forward to. Very, I'm personally very disappointed in how they launched the app as it feels somewhat like a beta, but I feel like they have the ability to make something truly great here. In an ideal world, you can complete your full animation in Procreate Dreams and also edit it directly in the application. I've been very excited for the development of Dreams, so I've been looking up as much as I can. I'm going to attach screenshots of features that the Procreate team has confirmed are in development. I'm going to end my voice over here, so I would just like to say thank you for all those who subscribed since the launch of Dreams. We're up almost 200 subscribers, so if you like this video, feel free to subscribe yourself. Here are the screenshots. Feel free to pause the video to read them for yourself.